So, hello. I think this is the first time I've showed my face on the channel, but this is what I look like. I'm a little uh, messy today. I got my art shirt on because <coughs> I'm working on several crafts. And today is just going to be like a short and sweet craft, and it's going to be a filler video because I haven't gotten all of my Italian art videos edited yet. Those are definitely going to be coming up. But right after we got home from Italy, I got sick with the flu and a sinus infection at the same time. So I have been definitely behind on getting stuff done. But this needed to get done. I thought it could be a cute little filler video. I know I mostly do art videos, but this is going to be a cute little filler craft video. And it's going to be all about making my cat Millie's favorite cat toys. So, Millie loves, loves, loves feathers. They're her favorite thing in the whole wide world. She loves them, and she loves to destroy them and pull them apart piece by piece, leaving little pieces of feathers all over our house. And her favorite toy, bar none, is one that I made. And I was like, oh, this probably won't be a great toy. They probably won't like it. <coughs> Sorry, I saw a cough. But they love, or Millie loves, a wine cork with feathers sticking out of it. And actually, she likes when there's feathers out of one end rather than two. Um, this is like not a favorite one of hers because it's not completely destroyed yet. But she likes when there's only one end of feathers. And I also like to make her, like I make their own like little fascinator toys. Um, so it's just hemp cord because it's natural. And then a stick. The stick is Hattie's favorite toy, um, and if you see it close up, hopefully that'll focus, but there are little cat bites all over that stick. But Millie has a, um, yeah, eaten it, destroyed it. So I'm testing out a new toy that I made the cats. It's a wine cork with feathers on the end, and Hattie over here is super rude cat. Like she's way more interested in a stick <laughs> than the feather toy itself. Like way more interested in the stick. See? Look at the feathers. Is that good? Oh no, we've spotted the stick. All of our sticks have chew marks on them. Whose fault is that? So, supplies that you're going to need for this project, if you're going to make just like the regular toy, are going to be wine corks, some sort of drill, or even a cork opener. And this is so you make a little hole in the edges that you can poke the feathers in. Sometimes they'll have a little hole here that you can poke a feather in, but it's nice to just kind of like drill like a nice hole. So that's what we eventually want. Um, some white non-toxic glue and some feathers. And if you want to make the fascinator, you're going to need some sort of string. I braided hemp cord and a stick and some tape. And I've reused the string several times for toys. So here I'm going to be starting by drilling the holes. And I'll actually switch to a larger bit in a minute. But I want to make a note about the glue. So I did a lot of research to make sure that the glue that I'm going to be using is safe for kitty cats. And surprisingly, there's not a lot of information out there on safe glue. Um, some glues definitely are not good when they're wet, like Gorilla Glue, because it puffs up when it dries. But it seems like most people would say that some sort of non-toxic kid glue is the safest. They do use glue for cat toys in the store, but I couldn't find like a link on, on what they use. If you happen to know or you have a study about like the safety of glues, please link it down below. And here I'm just using a little dap of the glue to insert the feathers into the wine cork. And I kind of like doing this because you don't get very much glue on the outside of the cork, so the cats can't really get to it at all. Not that Millie chews on the wine cork or the base of the feathers, she just likes to shred them. Um, and I chose colors that I thought would be nice together, and I like to put two on each end. Millie seems to like that the best. It takes her longer to destroy it. 
And I have a mix here. I have some where I'm putting feathers on only one end, some where I'm putting feathers on both ends, and some of the ones with feathers on both ends are going to become the fascinator toys for Millie so, and Hattie, but she'll chew on the stick mostly. And there you have it. In just about 10 minutes, you made a stack of cat toys for your kitties. And if they're anything like my kitty, they will love them. All right, well, Millie, Hattie's not really into them because Hattie likes to play with sticks and pencils and a football. Those are her favorite toys. <laughs> but Millie is gonna love these and they won't last too long. But that's another great thing about them. When she's ripped all the feathers out, I can just redraw holes and replace the feathers. So that's pretty cool. So I hope you like this video. Um, it's just a really quick craft video, and I will be getting back to doing more art videos in the near future. So thank you. Bye-bye. Thanks for watching my video. If you like cat toy ideas, go ahead and subscribe. And maybe I can post some more in the future as a filler between some of my art videos. Thanks for watching and have a good day.